So what is Project Talk? Project Talk, commonly known as Level R or Heat Online. Many people will know it as either. And it has come back because of some fan crowdfunding that's happened and therefore brought all the world's licenses. So what's so special about Project Talk? Well, I used to play this game some 10, maybe longer years ago. Um, I would play it, I wouldn't say non-stop, but I would certainly put some uh, long hours into the game. And therefore, I thought I'd ha uh, do a, a YouTube review of the game. Simply because this is a game close to my heart. Now, what happened with Project Talk before? Well, Area Games only had a North American a license, therefore... For their services, it could only be used for North Americans. However, it transpired that um, they didn't actually have any blocks in place uh, to stop non-North American customers from playing the game. Level R, Stroke Heat Online, who held the rest of the world licenses then complain to Invictus who then put a block for non North American customers and therefore essentially ending the game for the rest of the world for those that did want to play on North American servers or Project Talk as it was at the time. Now since then, Heat Online and Level R have both ended their services. They ended their services in uh, 2014. Area Games could not continue hosting the games beyond 2010. So why did they decide to bring it back? Well, from personal experience, the game is very basic. Basic graphics, basic gameplay, and therefore it just works. It, it just, it's addictive in its own way. They've just got enough graphics and gameplay available which to be fair makes it pretty unique um unique because there's simply no other game like it that i am aware of yes there's plenty of racing games out there yes many of them do have let's face it, better graphics and Project Talk. But it's just unique. Unique in the gameplay. Um, it's just... It's kind of like an arcade game. But you're not having to push coins into the machine to play it. It's just really addictive and I just can't explain where the addictiveness comes from but I th it just is I mean could it be just the basic graphics and therefore everyone's on the same playing field you, you know it's so basic graphics that you don't need a hardcore graphics processor to play it. Who knows? Who knows? 
So, the game is back. It's available on Steam. Um, it never used to have a Steam presence that I'm aware of, at least. And the game launched on the 20th of December 2019. The player base at the moment is unfortunately a little bit on the low side. I only I only found it on Steam when it, you know, came up as a you might be interested in this uh, game, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna download it. I'm gonna play it, and I'm gonna reminisce in a game that I haven't played in ten years. It's been interesting. Um, I think there's a still a lot long way to go with a game. Um, I'm a little bit surprised at how just how laggy it is with only say a hundred or so people on it. Hopefully, that's something the new publisher will look into. It almost makes the game unplayable, unfortunately. But, at the same time, if I remember rightly, Area Games had a similar issue at one time, but definitely not as bad as it is at the moment. So hopefully that's something they'll improve on. Um, I personally don't think a game can be improved on. Um, I think you've got all your basics like capture the flag, your drifting, your Thunder Alley NASCAR style uh, racing, and your arcade or simulator racing. I think it's got a lot of everything. I think the only thing that could perhaps be added is something a bit like Rocket League, where you're playing car football, maybe. Um, that's perhaps one of the little things that I'd perhaps say that is actually missing. Uh, that you can do with cars, really. Um, you've got your drag as well. And I just kind of feel that that covers pretty much everything. Um, so what do I think of the game in general? I don't think there's anything wrong with the game in general. I think it is pretty much perfect as it is. It's a good classic game. Um, I think if I can get as much of a player base as Area Games Entertainment did before the IP band, then I think I'll be doing very, very, very well indeed. Hopefully it'll attract some new players to the game as well. The only downside is, would I spend any money on it? Well, I spent a lot of money on it when it was under area games. By that, I mean a fair few, a fair bit of money on it, more than I actually intended on paying. Would I pay to play on this, I think I'd like to see a bit of a bigger player base so that I know it won't disappear first. Because at the moment, I'm, you know, concerned about the player base. It's only 100 or so at the moment. At least the playing online at the same time as myself. That does not mean that there's not a thousand, two thousand players actually playing, but 
it's just something I've noticed when I've been playing that I've not really seen much more than about a hundred. And of course, you have to start from scratch, which is fine, but I feel a lot of people are perhaps going to avoid it, who, you know, before got quite far into the game and got all the upgrades, all the levels needed for the upgrades and stuff. So I think it's a bit of a mixed bag when when it comes to these sort of games making a comeback because I think for some people you kind of feel burnt and then you know burnt or ripped off at the time and then you know five years later the games come back and everything's reset and you kind of feel a bit let down in the sense that you ain't got your cars back or what have you. So that is a concern, but I think hopefully, like I said before, the publishers will work towards trying to mitigate and gain people's trust in the fact that, you know, it's going to be here to stay or stay for a longer time, but time will only tell how long they'll be able to keep it up for. Um, let's see, what else is there? I think I've covered everything. Um, check it out. It's on Steam. Give it a go. See what you think. Let me know in the comments down below. Like a video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.